test, I watched one of the most remarkable innings in many years of test cricket. Graham Pollock's 125 from 145 balls faced, where in a partnership of 160, he hit 21 boundaries. I can assure you, no one could ever have batted better than Pollock that day after he came in with South Africa 43 for four. Oh ho! And at 4 for 51, that's produced a, a slightly more defensive field placing from Mike Smith. He's pulled out one of his close to the wicket fieldsman. He's now playing four men on the offside in run saving positions. A misfield by Parfit, and that doesn't happen very often. They're getting two for it. Beauty by Barber. And four more. And Graham Pollock, with that stroke, has achieved his thousand runs in Test match cricket. Two others in the side ahead of him, Barlow with 1,800-odd, and Colin Bland with about 1,400. He wanted 28 when he set out today, and that's exactly what he has now. And I was just about to say he bowled six overs, five of them maidens, but that rather spoils it. Moving down the wicket, what a handsome offside player this man is. He's made 32 and South Africa are 68 for four. He played on, Becker is out, playing on there to Snow. The leg stump knocked back and Becker is out for 12 and South Africa now 80 for five. No, bowling his second over after lunch to Pollock. And a lovely stroke. Four runs. <laughs> and that's Pollock 7 4. Snow bowling to Pollock. Pollock needing two for his 50. Snow bowling from the pavilion end. Umpire Charlie Elliott looking round over his shoulder. No coming in. This will be it. Yes, the bit two runs. Tipmas chasing it up. Lata coming in from long leg. That's two to Pollock. That's his 50. He batting 96 minutes and hits seven fours. Five innings. Pollock on 63. That's four. Yes, it's through the gap. Lovely square cover drive. That's his ninth four. Yes, there it goes again, through the gap this time, towards extra cover. Well filled it up. And that's Graham Pollock's tenth four. He's been peppering the covers with a series of most beautiful shots. There's four more. Parfit will never catch that. No effort whatever in the stroke. Sheer timing. The turn of the wrist. This is wonderfully good cricket. It's a full pitch and he hits it away on the onside to deep mid-wicket for four runs. Bad one. 94 he's made. his 14th four. Lata can't stop that. What a good shot because the ball is, looks like four because the ball was only barely short of a length. Just stopped it. Now it's gone.
And he's hit it away on the onside for four more. What a magnificent shot with which to come to a really beautiful and quite remarkable hundred. little uppish but it's four more just behind cover and the bowlers now must be wondering just where to pitch it Cartwright bowling and another four to Pollock and there you see a man who's played some wonderful cricket since lunch it's been a golden hour Graham Pollock who's 111 not out facing up to Cartwright and he's edged that one but it's four more they all count his 19th four off the edge all along the ground and he's walloped that one away down on the on the side four more runs which now gives him 24s the partnership has been going for an hour and they put on 93 in an hour. What wonderful entertainment with the sun shining and a wonderful crowd to enjoy it. And he's walloped it again. It's going down to the mid-wicket boundary and it's another four. John Snow couldn't stop that. Nobody's been able to bowl to him. Uh, Cartwright, who, who started so splendidly this morning, he simply can't bowl a length at him. He's seen on the up, half volley or short. And he's out. He's out, caught he's by out. Cowdery. So Cartwright gets a wicket. Graham Pollock gave the impression that he thought he'd hit the ground with his bat. Maybe he did and maybe he touched the ball as well. But Upper Crap had no hesitation in giving him out. Listen to the applause. 